Hey everyone, welcome back to another Heavy Metal Diecast video and one of our 172nd scale armor reviews. And today, yes, we have ourselves a Churchill Mark IV. And this, of course, is from Dragon Armor. And that does uh, look mighty fine in there. We should be able to get it out, I reckon, without too much of a drama. So this just had some mild changes, I think, from the original um, Mark III that I think we reviewed that one already. And uh, just had a couple of a little improvements. I think the main thing being a cast turret. But that is that pretty cool looking model in there. It is held on by a couple of normal screws underneath here. Uh, how about we get this uh, Perspex case off so we can actually get a real good look at this awesome looking uh, Churchill, which is really, really nicely done. Uh, this is um, from the North Irish Horse, uh, I think, A Squadron, uh, while they were in Tunisia in 1943 during the North African campaign. And I reckon uh, the paint scheme on this is absolutely stunning. <laughs> Um, uh, it does look fantastic. It certainly has a lot of sort of, uh, weathering and detail on there. It is fantastic. <laughs> like, I don't know what else to say, really. Uh, look, it is a lot of the sort of the one color, I suppose, but there is some minor details picked out, uh, in other colors like the shovels there, as you can see, and some other stowage items here and there. It does have some nice markings. Some very nice markings. Beautiful barrel detail in there. Does the, uh, let us see. Oh, does that turn? I, I don't know. Well, it doesn't want to. Normally these do turn. Oh, geez. It was just a, it was just a little bit stuck. Uh, I was a little bit uh, bewildered then. I wonder if we can, uh, yep. So that is the inside, just in case you ever want to have a look inside one of these. That's all that's there. There's nothing uh, much in there. The uh, sort of turret, I suppose, uh, is plastic, as you can see. But that that is all die cast. That does feel sort of cold. I think let's have a good feel of that. Definitely, it's definitely die cast on the side here for sure. And we will uh, put this turret back on and make this a tank again, and uh, hopefully not break it. <laughs> and there we go. Do we have some uh, movement from that pounder? I really, uh, it doesn't want to move. But that uh, six pounder there um, does not want to elevate up and down. And I'm not going to force the issue like I did with that turret. Because I reckon I'll snap it. But I reckon overall though, this is another mighty fine looking release here from Dragon Armor. And uh, yeah, very, very happy with the finish on this for sure. It does look really, really nice. We will put it on the deck and wind up the video, I suppose. So uh, don't forget, if you do enjoy what you see, some of those down there, and always feel free to uh, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to uh, comment if you uh, feel like having something to say. You're always welcome to comment on my videos. It does not uh, worry me at all. So you would have seen the photos of this, of course, at the start. Don't forget to check out this on the turntable at the end. That way do with these once in a second scale armor reviews. All right, everyone, I will say a thank you very much for dropping past and checking out this Churchill 4. All right, you all have a fantastic rest of your day. Cheers, everyone.